Okay. Hi, everybody. Happy Monday. We're live. Um, I wanted to do a live with you today. I hope you're having a great day, great start to your week. And last week, if you caught it, I did a live around coherence between the heart and brain, right? And how that communication from the heart to the brain and the brain to the heart is so important in how well your body functions. And I wanted to just do a little bit more about the heart because I don't know, I don't know what you thought if you did hear that, but I was surprised when I learned that the communication from the heart to the brain was more significant. So that made me want to dig deeper. And I'm actually now a heart math practitioner um, because of my interest in this field. So I wanted to share with you a little bit more about the heart specifically and see if, uh, if it resonates with you. Before I jump into the heart, I just want to talk about energy fields of everything, of our body, but really everything that we, everything that's a chair, whether it's alive, a plant, an animal, anything has an energy field around it. So I'm going to show you some pictures about that and what that looks like. But just take your hands, if you could, for a second and rub them together like this. So you just generate some energy. And then after about five seconds, you're just going to separate them and you can feel that energy field. You can even as you start to go like that in and out, it feels so cool. <laughs> it feels like I'm squeezing an invisible ball, right? So that's the energy and we all have that energy field. Let me show you what that energy looks like. Okay. Okay, I think you can see this. So this is um, Kirlian photography. Uh, I don't know if you can see that on the top, but that's the technology of this type of photography where it can actually capture the energy, the magnetic, electromagnetic field that's coming off. And uh, as you can see, there's different colors. So the different colors are caused by different waves of the energy coming off. So this is actually a coin, right? An inanimate object, a leaf, two leaves. I think this is like a slice of a tomato or something, a shell and somebody's hand. So you can see in this picture, and the, again, the colors are important because they do represent different frequencies of the energy, all right? So, so cool, right? If you're a photographer, you might be into this. Um, so let me stop sharing that screen. And so keep that in mind, right? That energy is being given off. Now, what the HeartMath Institute, and they're not the only ones, but that's who I really get my education from, what they have found is that the energy field around the heart and what the heart itself gives off, separate from the rest of the body, it's the biggest electromagnetic field in the body. And I want to show you what that looks like. Now, this is more of a drawing than actual photography, but still pretty cool, I think. Oh, OK. Can you see that? Let me just see. Yeah, that's what you see. OK, good. So this is the magnetic field of the heart. And so the magnetic field that comes out of the heart, it actually leaves from the center of the chest and it goes out and it expands in up to five feet around the body in all directions, right? But out. So you can see in this picture that this person's energy field expands five feet out from him and this person's five feet out from him. So even when two people are not very close to each other, their energy fields are going to intertwine and they're going to actually have an impact on each other's energy field because they're, they're gonna to be touching each other and coming into contact. And what this graphic shows right here says is that um, our thoughts and emotions affect the heart's magnetic field which energetically affects those in our environment, whether we're conscious of this or not. So I'm gonna take this away so that I can see you. Okay, so if our heart, I'm sorry, if our thoughts and emotions are affecting our heart and, and how that field is being radiated. So if you are angry, 
Remember the first slide that I showed the different colors? The energetic field that comes out from your heart is going to be a particular color because it's going to carry the frequency of anger, right? That emotion has a certain frequency to it, and it's going to affect the electromagnetic field of your heart because your emotions and your thoughts are doing that. And so then if you're, you know what, I should have said this before I started. If you have any questions, please pop them in. This is playing in a couple of different places. So if I don't see it, I'll go back and address it. And if you're coming in, I've already shown two slides that are, that showed what I'm talking about. So you may want to catch that part. Um, actually, yeah. Um, okay. So if your thoughts and emotions are going to be affecting your energy field, then if I, if I'm feeling angry and I come home and I walk into the room, that energy field of my heart is going out five feet and it's going to actually affect if there's, if I have my son is sitting in the room and he's within five feet of me, he can probably tell from knowing me, maybe I'm upset, maybe he can't, maybe I don't say anything and he can't tell, but my energy field will impact his energy field and he'll feel that anger. Part of that frequency will actually go and, and affect his energy field. So why is this important? Well, you know, if you're looking out at our world and you're looking out at how people interact with each other, I'm going to pull up the inner, that slide again, just so if people are popping on late. Um, but if you're looking at how our world is and how people are affecting each other, and then you see how this looks. Yeah, that shows. Okay. And you see that our energy fields are actually intermingling and intertwining how that affects each and every person around us. So when you're standing on the grocery store line and you have people, now people are standing six feet away, maybe, I don't know if people are still doing that anymore, but you know, that's going to be less impactful. But when we actually are right up against people, so we're not just sharing our germs, we're actually sharing our emotions and affecting other people's emotions through our heart's magnetic field. This field, as I said, is going out five feet more than the rest of our body. The, the energy that's go, being given off to the rest of our body is not going out that far. And really the emotion, the heart is the hub center of emotion, right? So the emotions that you're feeling are having the biggest impact. So this isn't necessarily the longest, most technical live I've ever done, but I think it's impactful if, again, if you look at how we're living and affecting each other in the world, who do you want to be and what's the effect, what's the effect that you're having on the people in your household, if you just want to start there. And what is their effect having on you? So one thing that you can do if you're noticing that you have an energetic frequency that's upset, you're scared, you're angry, you're frustrated, you've been in traffic, you got a bad phone call, to just take some time. And if you put your hand on your heart, it actually connects your brain to your heart because you feel it, right? Like if you're not, you, you don't notice your ankle bone or your elbow, you don't notice them until you actually touch them. Now I'm like, oh, there's my elbow, right? Otherwise it's not something you notice. So same thing here. You put your hand on your heart so that you, you connect to it. And then you do some deep breaths just to bring that energy down and just to release some of whatever the emotion is so that you can get that nervous system un under control. And that's really helpful. Like if you have children, I wish I understood this when my son was little. I was, I was very stressed when my son was little because when he was two was when my daughter was born and then she was in the hospital all the time. So that stress and that upset, and by the way, children, especially under the age of seven, they take on their mother's frequency a lot. They actually really feel that and pick that up. So I wish I had had the tools at the time to just be like, okay, I need to just calm down. I need to do some breathing. And I don't want to affect my two-year-olds, my four-year-olds, my six-year-olds as he grew with my own stress and upset. 
So sometimes we're more motivated to do the things because of the impact on other people. Sometimes we don't do the things just for ourselves, right? But if we know they're do, we're, you know, we're impacting our kids, we do them. So just hand on your heart, some deep breaths, and then also you wanna shift the emotions. So you just got bad news or you were stuck in traffic or you're aggravated. Just get into your thoughts, something that feels good, something that you appreciate, something that you care about. So you can just shift and then close your eyes and do, do three rounds. It would, it would be best to do three minutes, but if you don't have time, even just three rounds of deep breaths, deep breath in, exhale out, that will calm down your nervous system. It will bring your heart rate down. And if you are focusing on what you love and what you appreciate, you're gonna change that field and for the last time, I'll bring that up one more time. I'm gonna bring both slides up just because I see that people, some people have popped on that weren't on before. So the first slide that I brought up was, where are they gone? Oh, I closed it. I can't bring it up, sorry. All right, the first slide that I brought up, you could Google it, Kirlian Photography, K-I-R-L-I-A-N, showing the energy field of the body. The frequency of that energy has a lot to do with what you're feeling and thinking. So whatever your emotions are, that's going to determine. And so the, if you do Google it, you'll see colors and the colors represent the different frequencies of energy. And then I brought up a second slide that showed how one person's heart ener energetic field will impact another person's if they're within five feet of them, which we spend a lot of time in, in that distance with each other. So that's all. Just be aware, notice, realize that we're making a difference and there's a ripple out effect with everybody around us. And if just think, just think, if everybody paid attention to that and worked on having their energetic field be calm, happy, loving, you know, not that you have to live like that or you, that you would because we're human beings, but if you work on getting that, how the energy out in our world would be different and what would that do for our health what would that do for the peace in our relationships but really our health okay quick one tonight i just wanted to share that with you and um i'll do something else again next week and if there's something in the area of stress of overwhelm of your nervous system of energy any of that um let me know and i'll try to address it Okay, thanks so much for popping on. See you soon.